biggest lie and misconception that society has cast on Gen Zs and Millennials today is that boomers could afford a home because right now, Gen Zs and Millennials are spending their money on archivals, cafes, streaming services, European vacations, gym memberships, nail lashes, you know, concerts, new wardrobe every season. Whilst back in the old day, old mate boomers didn't have any of these services, didn't spend any of this money on this stuff. That is so wasteful. And that's the reason why Gen Z millennials can't afford a home. But this is the biggest lie ever told. You see, in 2016, the medium house prices was about $830,000. Now in 2024, medium house prices is at least $1.2 million. In 2016, you only need an $80,000 salary to service a loan for this. Now, to service a mortgage for this, you need at least $130,000 salary. And that's assuming you have a 20% deposit, which looks like this, compared to this. And let's not forget, if you're under 40 living in the land down under, you also have a hex debt between thirty dollars to even $50,000. Plus your credit card debt, plus your car loan, plus your buy now, pay later debt. With all these liabilities that equals this, how the heck are you going to save for this? Even if you save 10% of 1.2 mil, that's 120 grand plus stamp duty. Back in the days when the boomers had a good, there was like zero tertiary education and stamp duty was like this small compared to this big now. And even if we can find Gen Zs and Millennials that don't look like this, which is basically 80% of Gen Zs and Millennials that I know, this is just boomer propaganda that says, oh, this is how much we spend. Even if we don't spend this stuff, it will take us more than 15 years just to save up this money, assuming we can save about $15,000 extra per year on top of our income. And even with that, we live the hashtag frugal life for the next 10 years. We cannot even save up enough deposit for that. So to break the misconception right now, if you are under 40 in this country, you have hex debt like I described, you have kids, you have a regular job that's under six figures. You can't afford a house in Australia, not because you are spending all your money on all this stuff, because that's irrelevant. The real reason you can't afford a house, unlike the boomers back in the old days, is because interest rates are through the roof. 13 interest rate hikes. Maybe in August, 14 interest rate hikes. And house prices are through the roof, and rent is killing us right now. And all this stuff that boomers claim that we spend on, <laughs> these stuff are reserved for the 2% Gen Zs and Millennials. Us 98%, we are eating bread and water every single day. Jump in the comments, let me know what you think.